Hi guys, my name is Augustin and I'm one of the founders of EasyShip. EasyShip started a bit more than six years ago. Uh, we were working for a company uh, called Rocket Internet back out of Hong Kong with Tommaso. Um, and while we were doing this, basically our job was to help merchants from North Asia to ship and sell into Southeast Asia. And while we were doing this, we were seeing how hard and difficult it is for those merchants to actually ship into multiple countries that had different tax and regulations, understanding the couriers, understanding where the item were at any point of time. And we saw that basically in e-commerce, a lot of uh, the infrastructure has been built in terms of like the stores and the payments, but in terms of the shipping, you still had no gateway approach. Like the learning curve you had back six years ago was the same learning curve you had in the 1980s, right? So we still needed to figure out pretty much everything and had no automation whatsoever. So if you didn't have prior knowledge, you were basically not doing great. So we started, we left that company and we started a very basic version of what we have today, um, which, were, which is yeah, EasyShip and we had a B as a logo back in the day. I like to mention that every time because the first designer we hired stole the V from us. Uh, I'm still resenting that designer for it. Uh, and the B and, and basically the concept was just simplifying shipping for those merchants out of Hong Kong. So we created a very simple versions of what we have today that was basically just eliminating couriers according to different characteristics, showing them a, file, a final landed cost. And then when they wanted to ship, it actually sent us an SMS and we went with motorbikes, cars, a taxi to get the parcel that was unpacked and bring it back to a warehouse in the suburbs of Lai Chikok and we were packing the parcels ourselves. And we did something like 10,000 parcels together like this, um, all with the interns coming from grade school and founders. Um, and just like we did, yeah, 15, 20,000 parcels like this. We got traction, got investors, and adapted the tool with the learnings we got. And now we're in, um, I think, six countries we have offices, seven countries we have offices in. We're close to 130 people. Um, and are shipping millions of passes on a monthly basis. We're in the background in, in some of our infrastructure and on the front on, on other infrastructure. We just want to be the infrastructure of e-commerce when it comes to logistics. Whether it's for small and medium players through our dashboard where you can link your store with all of the major uh, platform like Shopify, big commerce whatsoever, whether it's about powering infrastructure for large uh, players like Shopify and eBay where we're basically providing them an entire shipping infrastructure without the end client knowing, or whether it's providing labeling services to freight forwarders or helping warehouse, man warehouse structure to basically have access to more carriers. So, we like to be at the center of that ecosystem, whether the client knows us or doesn't, whether it's only about the label or the shipping or the infrastructure or the billing, we are an infrastructure player and we just want to make sure that we are at the center of that ecosystem. I, I think I love every, every part of it, right? Um, from having an idea to putting it on the market, having our first clients, like every, at the very beginning of your company within the first six months, like everything is like winning a world championship, right? And it's like, whether it's first client, first success, first contract with a core, first agreement with a bank, first investor, it's like I loved all of the firsts, right? Then another moment that I really, really love within EasyShip is when I understood that EasyShip doesn't belong to me anymore. It belonged to the people that, that are on building EasyShip on a daily basis and that story is like basically we were, I think, a year and a half or two years in. We had our designer um, that was basically trying to help the entire company to redesign the website and understand what are the pillars of EasyShip. And so he goes on a whiteboard, puts all of the pillars, and then he asks everyone, what do you think EasyShip is? Like, what are the unique selling points? And basically people thought, they literally had huge arguments about what they think EasyShip is, right? And so I think that that's where, for, for me, that was one of the 
the, the happiest moment I had within that journey because it didn't belong to me anymore. It, it was them fighting over what they thought was EasyShip. Like EasyShip two years ago didn't exist. That was just an idea uh, that Tom, Paul and I had together. And now you have 20 people fighting over it because they have different vision of what it is. Um, so that was definitely a very happy moment. And then I think when we open our offices and and a pretty much across the world, right? We have offices ranging from every time zone you can imagine, from Australia to, uh, to LA, right? Where everyone is coming from different background, has different origin, and, and are different, like on any point of view, but every time they meet each other, see each other, work together, they see that they have the, ha the, the same frame of mind. And I think being able to have built a company where you have so many different people from the different backgrounds, but at the same time, are all alike a bit in the way they work together, is, is also one of the greatest things. Bigger, I think. In short, right, I think like, the EasyShip team is going to grow. Like We are going to continue our expansion. We have offices in seven locations in six years. We're going to continue that expansion. There is a lot of untapped market for us that we see in front of us. There is a lot of platforms that needs our help. So I think it's really, it's pretty much doubling down on everything that we have done so far and making sure that we have the same commitment to that. Uh, but yeah, I think for us, it's we want to become the reference in the market. I think EasyShip can be described um, in the best way by it being a gateway. So what we want to be is a plug and play gateway where people just plug EasyShip and basically the entire shipping is done, whether it's calculating taxes, understanding which carrier to use, uh, have everything shown on the checkout, have tracking events sent to the, to the clients at the end. So it's just like you plug EasyShip, you don't have to know anything, you don't have to do anything, pretty much everything is there. Mm -hmm.